Hi, Paul Stacy here. It's October 12, 2018. I'm in Niagara Falls, New York. I want to see the falls. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, well, it's pretty good. Uh, that's what the view from the, of the falls from the U.S. side, and then far in the distance you see the falls on the Canadian side. It's kind of windy and cold today and, and, uh, and wet, <laughs> so if I stay too close to the falls, I'm going to wreck my computer, so I'm going to move up here. I'm at the Open Education Conference. Um, this is an annual event, perhaps one of the biggest open education conferences in the world, but it's primarily uh, focused us. It's always hosted in the U.S. on so North America. Nonetheless, I think there's been some significant news coming out of this conference that I thought I should take a moment to share with you. At the end of the keynotes today, this morning on the last day, it was announced that over the last five years, open education has saved students a billion dollars. It's a huge number. And one of the significant benefits of open education is this lowering of costs and the ability to pass on that cost savings to students makes education more affordable and accessible for them, which I think is a wonderful benefit. Of course, not the only, only benefit associated with open education, but a significant one. Uh, related to that, it's been obvious at this conference that there's, a, that there's a growing theme and focus on the sustainability of open education as we move beyond sort of startup projects with short-term funding to looking at how to bake open education into the mainstream activities of a school or an institution and see it uh, sustain itself and continue over time. I think that's a really healthy um, and important discussion and one that I myself have been engaged in. So yesterday I participated in a panel talking about the economics of open um, and in that panel I released two documents which I thought I'd share here in this update. Uh, the first one is at this URL, uh, bit.ly slash Stacy Biz. It provides a table summary of the 24 case studies in the book that I co-wrote with Sarah Pearson called Made with Creative Commons that looks at open business models of successful organizations around the world. That table summarizes uh, what the business is, what they do, where they are in the world, what open license they use, how they generate revenue and have a sustainable strategy, and what motivates them. And if you're looking at sustainability in an open education, uh, I encourage you to look at these success stories from other initiatives around the world. Another document I released at that event uh, was this one, Stacy, oh, bit.ly slash Stacy Common Strategy. Uh, this is a document that describes 15 behaviors associated with being a good and effective um, participant in the open education space and as we see more and more entities look to engage in open education including for-profits and not-for-profits um, there is a need to have some guidance around how to not deploy and make use of market-based methods but instead use commons based methods as part of your approach and engagement with sustainable strategies for open education and so that document uh, looks at detrimental behaviors and then looks at uh, positive first step behaviors to get involved and then progresses along a continuum to, uh, to uh, uh, optimal. And so if you're looking to assess your own engagement with open education and devise a successful strategy that would be welcome and accepted by the open community, uh, that document might be helpful for you. Uh, so, uh, so sustainability and growth of open education uh, is an important theme at this conference. Related to that too is the spread of open education to the K-12 sector. There's way more sessions here about K-12 than I've ever seen before over the years and that's a really positive thing as we see the benefits of open education migrate into all, all of the sectors of education, not just higher education. Um, uh, I think another piece that I'll maybe briefly mention as part of this update is I'm doing another session this afternoon with our, our communications director, Susan Huggins. It's the Open Education Consortium's 10th anniversary, and so together we're doing a session that looks at 10 years in the past of some of the things Open Education Consortium has done over the past 10 years, and then I'll talk about 10 years into the future and identify the top 10 things that I hope to see the Open Education Consortium do going forward. So that should be a fun session. Um, that's kind of it from a quick little update from me here in Niagara Falls, New York. Thought I'd pass along some of these snippets of interesting uh, news and findings coming out of the conference. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, speak to you again soon.